Alright guys, please be seen, but you can guess what I'm doing here. We're going the freaking snapper again. Oh yeah. It's uh June twelfth. Or June fourteenth, Thursday. I think you can see that. Uh nineteen seventy eight. No, that's when this thing is probably from. And it's got an eighty seven engine. It's uh June twelfth. Or uh, June 14th, 2012. But yeah, I'm going to try to lower this engine disc onto this uh, rubber disc. Hope you can hear me okay with uh, Hootie on there. Yes, Hootie and the Bluefish, and it's now our country. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm going to get to this. I'm going to take the Torax screws out, try to pound the uh, the aluminum disc down a bit onto the rubber disc. Uh, the outdoors man, he uh, sent me a vid about a guy uh, grinding uh, a snapper disc. You're really not supposed to do that. You're taking stuff off that metal that's supposed to be there. But yeah, speaking of taking stuff off metal that's supposed to be there, when I first got my snapper, I honestly thought there was a belt on this, a dry rotted belt. I had no idea what this little contraption was. Yeah, that's the original uh, rubber disc that was on my snapper. And I scraped that all off with a putty knife thinking it was a belt. And the belt actually went on the metal. And that is not the case. You can see that this rubber is made into it. So guys, I hope I make another crappy video for you guys to see, but who knows? I hope you like my snapper crapper. I'll see you soon, guys. Alright, guys, the snapper enthusiasts. I was able to get the rubber disc down closer in the process. I don't know if you can see that there. See the chip out of the bottom Torx screw? It freaking broke. So I'm going to bring up a point with you if you see this video. If your snapper is running finely, do not monkey with this disc. Because we monkeyed with it and it was set too high to go on this rubber disc. Now, what I'm going to do is put the Pops Torx screw in and hopefully this holds and doesn't fly apart. Now, this isn't the best lawnmower you can get, as you can see, these older snappers. It's more like a rat mower. You run, you cut, and you have some fun with it. I uh, took a, that board you see over there, and I uh, placed it in there and hammered it down a bit. It should work better. It's touching, and when I shift the shifter, it's shifting. So my next things i got to do is put these boots back together and put the thing in there. And I'm going to test drive it later, guys, but not now, because... My mom's sleeping and I really don't want to wake her. So, later on, I'll link a test drive video to this. You guys take care. Bye. Well, guys, it works good in third gear and that's about it. Right now, I'm just trying to wear down the rubber disc and the thing works correct. To be honest, I, uh... I think that the uh, idle is set too low for uh, the run this thing, but I'm not sure. And I probably woke up my mom. Oh yeah. Seems to be working, guys. Oh, well, somewhat. Plus it has uh, one of those uh, gas shutoffs that might not be getting gas. I still don't know how to get the carburetor right. I'm going to give it a little gas. Alright. Plus the thing could be running out of gas. I'm not really sure. It's working somewhat. I'm going to find someone to help me that knows what they're doing with this soon. Hopefully a guy I know. I'm just going to drive it around for a bit. And yeah. I guess this is the end of the video. And if until you see me next time, if it's not broke, don't try to fix it and don't monkey with something that's working. You guys take care. Goodbye. Well guys, I rigged her to work. It works for now. I don't think I have to do anything more to it. And I'm going to leave it the frig alone. I got the car where I want it. It doesn't go very fast. They're really not the meant to go very fast, these things, I tell you. You probably want to maybe go 5 to 8 miles an hour. Yeah, but... Oh, shit, I'm leaking gas. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Uh, that's what happens with those. you got to be careful. You always got to watch the gas shut off. Oh, yeah. Okay.
That's not too bad. They didn't have much gas left in it. Yeah, these freaking snappers always leak gas. It's like a defect in these old carburetors. Oh, yeah. Hope I didn't leak the rest of the gas I out the head to toy with it. But, yeah, I don't think it was, uh... When you're not running them, they leak. So you gotta shut the gas shut off. off. And you see... I don't know if that matters, it's leaking from right there. But once I shut the gas off to it, it'll stop. It'll be fine. I probably just uh, had too much gas turned on to it. Sometimes these uh, things will uh, run without having the gas turned on. You just gotta finicky with them. These things are very finicky. Uh, let me see if this is gas though. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's gas. Oh yeah, it's that fucking ethanol shit. It's no freaking good for anything. Freaking ethanol's probably destroying my carburetor. But yeah, one of these days when I get really good with stuff, I will build, rebuild this. Oh, big crowd truck, uh, big uh, motorcycle. I will uh, rebuild this with uh, ethanol proof carb stuff. They do have those if you look it up. They, the older carbs, you can rebuild them. For ethanol proof. I know that I think I'm not sure if that goes for cars. I looked up car kits before for this thing and it says up to 10% ethanol proof. I'm gonna let you guys go and yeah leaky 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 ooh leaky bad leaky thing I hope you don't leak on me. I don't know. Hey, it's best not to have the gas on it so much. And what is scary is I hope it wasn't leaking when I was driving it. I drove it for about 20 minutes. But yeah, I believe it'll burn off and not leak. I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me what it's leaking out of. What I should do with it. Should I leave it alone? That it runs and drives? Does it really uh, matter that it leaks? But who knows. I'm going to leave you with that. And it's leaking right next to the battery. Oh yeah. You guys take care. Hi guys, I'm back. I hope you can hear me okay. But another good thing to do with these is if you think leaks gas, is turn the shut off and burn whatever gas is in there that's leaking. I'll leave you with that. You guys take care. Bye. Alright guys, this video is far too messed up. I tried to do something for you, but uh, I don't know if you can know if you can hear me over the engine. Now, this is what I learned from my own experience. I don't know if it works for other people, but when you get a leaky carburetor and a shut off valve, it's uh, good to turn the shut off valve off and then restart the engine so all the uh, gas burns out of there. I don't think I need to rebuild this guys. I think it'll hold up. As you can tell with the run in it, it burned off the gas in there that was leaking. You guys take care. This is the end of the video. I hope to get my deck finished soon. There's stuff going on with the people that are doing it. Um, it's more important than getting my deck back to me. Uh, yeah, but I hope to have it back soon. You guys take care. I'll let you go. Hope you enjoyed my vid. Oh, yeah. Ooh, what's that crap? Ooh, look at my engine. I painted the cover of this, and yeah, it's rusting from condensation in my garage, and condensation's not good. You guys take care. Bye.